and wide, he's got a nice vision through the bend and he's got a nice wide arc through the bend. The rider goes in tight, makes the bend too tight, is frightened to lean and then runs wide and almost wipes out the cyclist in the process and runs right over the white line on the wrong over sorry, I'm not saying white line, right over the line, it was an American video, right over the, the line on the wrong side of the road. Now all it needed was somebody coming another way and that was it curtains so you've got to be absolutely comfortable with lean angles and making the bike lean as, as well so what my course really does is it breaks all this down and i practice skills and i've written notes that goes with it as well and we practice all these skills and we build them up we do braking exercises as well and putting cones out and learn how to brake and all the rest of it and counter steer and all the rest of it so in other words you've got to have all the component parts together and fit them all together in terms of the bike control and the road craft and the system of riding all that's got to come together so if you're riding a motorbike and you're thinking about when you're for tea or who you're going for a holiday you're not doing it right because when i'm riding a motorcycle my mind is completely and utterly focused on riding that motorcycle um yeah that's why i that's why i can go away and completely switch off the rhythm when I get out there on the motorbike on a night like this, absolutely beautiful. So, I've been asked to put a, a video together, this was a longer one at 20 minutes, it was always going to be a longer one because it was to give you an overview of everything that I'm planning to do. So I'm planning now to kind of break it down, it's not going to be a substitute for my course, of course it's not, it's just that I'm bored to tears and I need to do something. So what I'll do is, um, I'll just break these down to wee videos for you and all I'm trying to do is really just get, get, your, get your mind working, get your grey matter working and make you realise that the fun and the pleasure and the enjoyment of motorcycling is they just buying it and cleaning it and looking at it and buying some nice clothing and a go faster exhaust. It's about knowing that when you go on that bike you can ride it and you can ride it with confidence. And if you're out with other people that you don't have to feel intimidated, that you're getting sucked into situations that you can't handle. Have you had these squeaky bum moments when you go into the corner and you think, oh my god that was a close one, I was a bit on the wrong side of the road there. Have you gone into a bend? completely misjudged that went in far too fast run wide either into the bank and almost or over the white line and then the next corner you're going far too slow and you think oh my god i could have been a lot faster with that one you're just not reading the roads properly so i say to people what's your favorite road they always say to me it's a road that they know nobody's favorite road's a road they've never ridden it's always a road that they know and they know it pretty well what if you could ride roads that you've never ever been on before and ride them with absolute confidence never ever been on them before but you're using all that information the man-made the natural features the road signs the road markings the road surface the elevation the camber what the information that the surface is actually giving you the limit point the vanishing point putting all that information together into the riding plan and then having the bike control that allows you to execute it with confidence that's what it's all about and then you go out there and it takes your motorcycle riding on to another level the enjoyment and the sheer pleasure you can actually go out you've got time to look round about you admire the scenery instead of just feeling like you're hyperventilating <laughs> holding on for dear life when you get to the next coffee stop your wrists are like this your forearms are all pumped up you're out of breath you're absolutely knackered that's no fun you want to be on that bike totally relaxed confident and still have spare capacity left over to be able to still look round about and enjoy the scenery all right so there you go a good insight into all that, uh, and that's it, that, that's that's my first week kind of intro, giving you an idea of what I'm going to do, I'm going to break these down and do that, um, by all means um, send in any wee bits and pieces and give me some st stuff on the post and whatever else you maybe want me to talk about or particular issues or problems you want me to discuss or make a wee video on, but I'll just kind of break it down for you, give you an idea, but that video with the rider the other day there, a number of things, the rider you could see was not comfortable with the angles, that was a big big factor, the rider was not lifting and extending the vision, they were just doing dealing with one bend at a time and basically was arriving there and panicking instead of lifting and extending the vision and planning the approach to the to the bends. So they were just dealing with one bend at a time. They weren't doing what we call series bends linking, where you're linking all your bends together and you're making sure that the X of one bend is effectively forming the entrance to the next bend. So there's this flow through all the bends. So five bends becomes one, in other words. So he wasn't series bends linking, he was just dealing with one bend at a time. As soon as he would see the bend, you'll notice what he was doing. He was diving to try uh, to the inside of his right hand bend, diving to the inside uh, in the hope that this was going to give him spare um, uh, um, spare spare room on the outside of the turn. But of course you're robbing 
Paul on the way in and you're going to pay Peter on the way out. All that does is make sure you run wide on the way out corner. So his positioning was all wrong on the way into the turns, on the way through the turns and on the way out. Totally uncomfortable with the lean angles and that was causing a lot of issues. Completely uncomfortable with the braking, was braking and then dragging the brake in and braking to the extent that it was actually causing the bike to want to sit up in the corner and run wide as well. And you'll notice that the gearbox wasn't getting used effectively either. So a number of issues there. And it basically, it looked really terrible but the fact is that the guy was actually doing more right than wrong in a lot of ways in the sense that he knows how to change gear and use the throttle and use the brakes but da -da 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 -da. he was just doing the wrong things in the wrong time the wrong place and in the wrong position he needs to do all that in the right place at the right time and it would actually all start to come together for him so it must have been terrifying for him i know i would terrify just watching that video and if that's you and you can relate to that then you're going to like the kind of stuff that i'm going to be producing all right um is there anything else i want to say on this one no i don't think so i've not got a script but as you can see i've just tipped the camera in front of me <laughs> It just started talking, there was no script there. But the next one will be scripted. I'll break it down and cover set things at set times. Hey, there we go. Okay, that's enough for the night. Look, I've even talked the sun down. Right then, what is that? 23 minutes? Oh, God, that was far too long. I promised myself I was going to do it in 20. I must get better at this. Thank you. See, catch up soon. John McDonald, over and out.